Robots. Let's go to Jason in Arizona. Jason, what's going on? Hey, nothing, man. I just want to talk about the little robot thing here. Okay. I uh, hey, uh, saw a Twilight Zone episode with uh, the pitcher. He was a robot. And uh, I guess it's like uh, he was too good, so they made him get a heart. I guess it was the rule book or whatever. And uh, he just felt bad for being a perfect pitcher, and they like uh, they just screwed him up. So. That's right. I do remember that one. Wait, so how did this yeah, go? They had, they had a pitcher, and yeah. uh, he was a robot. And they put him in, and he was just great. And and it was a uh, it was a real bum team, and they needed help, so they got this robot pitcher, and then he was kicking ass. He's just striking everyone out. And uh, then the league said, you know, you can't have a robot. It's you know he's, he's got to at least have a heart, some kind of heart. So let me guess, you know, to make a human. So they gave him a heart, and then he couldn't bring himself to strike out so many people because he started feeling badly. For them, and uh, but became it, a crappy robot pitcher. But it's the Twilight Zone. So then, what? He went on a killing spree. No, Rod Serling came out and smoked a cigarette, and then died of cancer. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but that dumb Twilight Zone. All those stories were great, but then the last twist made you not sleep at night. They always had the stupid twist. I love those ones. You're gonna be dead, by, you know, by morning or some dumb thing. Oh, it's great. Yeah, I like the one with the glasses, which is what's... With all the time in the world. We're after a nuclear war. This guy locked himself in a vault, and he comes out, and he was not a people person. It was Burgess Meredith. And uh, he, he just liked to read. That's all he liked to do. So he went to the library and grabbed all these books and piled them up and put them all in sections of books he wants to uh, read. And uh, as he's starting to look at all the books, he bends down for something, and his glasses fall off and break. And he's blind without his glasses. Yeah. So he shot himself in the head. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. <laughs> I think he'd find some glasses on a body and just put them nah, on. I know. But he really couldn't see. Like, they showed his point of view, and it was just completely out of focus. There, there was the just... guy was just doomed. He'd have been tripping over everything. Couldn't even see glasses. Well, couldn't he just hold them up to his face and walk around? They were completely destroyed. Why? Because Rod Serling wrote it that way. He's a prick. Rod Serling. <laughs> yeah, stupid Rod He doesn't give you any hope yeah. whatsoever. That uh, Rod guy. Serling was like sitting, he was just off to the side smoking a butt. Right. From the beginning. Why couldn't he help him out? You know, but, but uh, he disappears as the show goes on. But if he helped him out, then, you know, the ratings wouldn't be good and we wouldn't be talking about the Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone. In the year 2000. A million years later. Hey, uh, what do you got on